grade 10s. Today we are going to look at the kinetic theory of matter, which will help us to explain why matter exists in different phases, that is solid, liquid and gas. Although the kinetic theory of matter also helps us to understand microscopic properties of matter, it is important to realize that it is only a theory. The kinetic theory of matter states that the matter is made up of tiny invisible moving particles. The particles can be atoms, molecules or ions. Whether matter is a solid, liquid or gas, the particles move all the time. The higher the temperature, the faster the particles will move. There are forces of attraction between the particles of matter. The speed of the different particles differs and therefore has different quantities of kinetic energy. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles. If a substance is heated, the particles gain more energy, move faster and consequently their kinetic energy increases which results in a higher temperature. At a lower temperature, the average kinetic energy of these particles will decrease again. If the particles have gained sufficient energy, they can overcome the forces of attraction between the particles. The position of the particles relative to each other changes during a state change. The average kinetic energy, the temperature of the substance, remains constant. Notice the horizontal lines in the graph when ice melts and water boils. The energy absorbed or released during a state change is known as hidden heat, since the average kinetic energy, the temperature, stays constant. Let's join Tracy as she uses a FET animation to take a closer look at water as an example to demonstrate the kinetic molecular theory. Remember water is one oxygen molecule with two hydrogens and that's why it has this, this specific shape. So you can see that oxygen indicated in the orange and the hydrogen is indicated by the, the, the little yellow, sorry, the little white um, balls as well. And that would be solid as in solid water ice. If I heated it up, if I heat that up, we should be able to see those particles are able to move over and slide over one another, flow over one another, and so that would be indication of a liquid. Recognize they take the shape of the container they're in. And if I heat it some more, some of those water molecules are able to escape, that one's escaped, and has, will fill up the entire space, so this would be indicating a gas. Tracy showed us that as the water changed phase, more heat was added, but the average kinetic energy of each molecule of water remained constant until the phase change to a gas was completed. In the gas phase, the average distance between the particles is much greater than the distance in liquids or solids. Because of the big distance, the forces of attraction between the particles are very small. The molecules move all the time. They collide and change direction all the time. We see the particles have random motion. A gas will fill the whole container it is kept in. The arrangement is irregular. It has a low density. A gas is highly compressible. Remember the average kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature of the gas. In the FET animation, as temperature, which is the same as the average kinetic energy, is reduced, the gas water undergoes a phase change to the liquid phase. The particles are quite close together. The force of attraction is smaller than in a solid, but greater than in a gas. The particles have more freedom of movement than in a solid, but less than in gas. There is no regular arrangement of particles. Liquids can flow past each other. It is denser than a gas, less dense than a solid. Particles have less motion with less average kinetic energy than in a gas, but more than in a solid. In the FET animation, as temperature, the average kinetic energy is reduced, the liquid water undergoes a phase change to the solid state. The force of attraction due to intermolecular forces between particles is very strong in comparison to liquids and gases. 
These particles vibrate around a fixed position in an orderly arrangement. The particles form beautiful crystals. Solids have a high density. Water is not compressible. It exerts a downward force on the surface on which it rests. So generally, the kinetic theory of matter states that all matter is composed of particles which have a certain amount of energy that allows them to move at different speeds depending on the temperature. Well, that's it for today. Remember to watch the other videos in this series and to do the tasks. Also visit the Mindset website at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.